Right, so biological parameters. Today, I'm going to focus on the biological parameters. There are two kinds of parameters that you need to know, which is the first one is the pathogen organism, and the second one is the indicator organism. So have you guys heard about pathogen and indicator microorganism before? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay, that's it. So I think it's very familiar to each and every one of you. Right, I think I would like to stop my presentation and I really hope that you can see my whiteboard over there. Right, this is a river. Okay, right. So assuming that uh, today or some other day, some other weekend, Sunday or something, that you will be, will, you will not be having any lecture so you can have a very pleasant picnic nearby to the river. Okay? Right, so let's say that, but unfortunately, this river is uh, contaminated. So when we talk about contaminated, there will be a microorganism that is not needed. Microorganism that uh, can cause disease, okay? So the microorganism that can cause disease, we call it as a pathogen microorganism. Okay, but one good thing about my pathogen microorganism, okay, whenever they are present in the water, there will be another kind of microorganism also will be present. Okay, but if the pathogen microorganism is not in the river or is not in the water, so it will uh, the the other microorganism which I use the black color will not be present, okay? And those black color is the indicator microorganism. Okay, pathogen microorganism and indicator microorganism. Right, why is it important, okay, for you to determine the indicator microorganism? Okay, so if let's say you are, we like to check the quality of the water. So if you take the water sample and bring it to the lab and you find that your water contain indicator microorganism, okay, that means the river or the water itself will be having or they have pathogen microorganism. Should the water is clean, no pathogen at all, it means that you will not be seeing any indicator microorganisms. But in order for you to determine the pathogen microorganism itself, specific pathogen microorganism, that is not easy because they are not abundance. Okay, there's not very many of it them, so it's hardly to detect, and you need a lot of um, equipment uh, experience or a lot of research be done in order for you to detect that pathogen. Compared to the indicator microorganism, it's more abundance. It's very simple tests can be done. Okay. So basically, indicator is an indication of the presence of the pathogen microorganism. If you remember, somewhere uh, at the end of last century, okay, uh, we were having problems with people get admitted to the hospital. Okay, uh, the pig farmer uh, was admitted uh, to the hospital due to certain disease. Okay, uh, but it, initially the diseases look quite similar, like normal fever, nausea, or even people cannot breathe, and uh, respiration problems, okay? But uh, initially, they thought that it could be because of the Japanese encephalitis virus, but apparently it is not, okay? So the scientists need to do uh, more experiment to determine the real culprit or the real virus, okay, that caused that kind of disease. So apparently, eventually, they, they managed to find out the, the, the virus. It's a new virus to them. So since they um, detect the virus from the Nipah uh, River, so they, they name the virus as Nipah virus. So it's actually the first time the virus being uh, detected. So it's, this is not only occur, occur in Malaysia, it's also occur, happened in uh, Bangladesh between 2000 to 2004. So there was not a sole case, uh, um, the, 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 the epidemic or the, the problem of Nipah virus uh, get to the human. Okay, so okay, for us to determine that Nipah virus is extremely difficult. So, but at least whenever you find 
indicate to microorganism, you should be able to find the pathogen. I mean, you know that the water contains some pathogenic microorganisms.